with her. Hold it right there. <laughs> it's the night before my wisdom teeth removal so I'm just picking out some comfy clothes for tomorrow I got a camp gloss skirt and this cute little cheetah shirt and they're very comfy and soft so those should be good for surgery and I just prepped some food for the next day and ice packs and stuff like that I'm doing my devotion and then I'm gonna try to go to sleep Hey guys, it's the day of my surgery. Not looking forward to it. I did my Bible time. I'm gonna pray. And then I'm gonna go get my surgery. My mom has my permission to film, but I'm gonna tell her not to post anything online without my permission, but yeah. office has to be on it yeah okay Sheridan's in the front can you look around this way Sheridan there she is she's tried to turn her phone on like I don't know how many times I think she's locked out of it now because I thought she was really doing something with her phone but she was just punching a bunch of numbers in. <laughs> have you got into it Sheridan no <laughs> She's hurting because I don't know what her number is. Lex doesn't want to know it, but yeah, we're going to take her home. I'm in a bad position to video because I'm videoing around the thing. Can you give me a thumbs up, Sheridan? <laughs> okay, at least you got the right fingers. So that was good. We're going to get her home and then I'll video some more because I'm hoping she'll be a lot funnier. If I'd known she was punching those numbers and didn't know what she was doing all the time, yeah, that would have been hilariously funny. We will let you all see her in just a minute. Sheridan's made it on. I don't know what she did. Yeah, she fell outside. He, he oh, well. <laughs> There's oh, Chloe. Boom, <laughs> Say hi, Sheridan. Hi. Are you okay? <laughs> what are you doing, Sheridan? Uh -huh. <laughs> I hate the fight. I feel like I have a ulcer right here. I don't like her. Not how you Oh, you're filming yourself? And, uh, uh, it feel like, um, feel like I put it on a bunch of bumpers. <laughs> 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 I feel like... I feel like... Oh, 
<laughs> I feel like uh, a, a weird piece of, a weird piece of plastic. <laughs> I feel like my piece of plastic. You're a big place piece of plastic. My family looks amazing. I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Chocolate. Chocolate. Don't. Don't. You'll end up biting your tongue. Quit. Quit. Put it back in. I don't know how to. Why? I feel like my tongue is missing. No. Your tongue ain't missing. Just keep it in there. Okay. Okay, that's enough singing. <laughs> you like vanilla shakes? Mm -mm. Why? Because it looks poop. Tastes like poop. Yep. Did you find your face? Yeah, but it feels like a. They put like filler in my cheeks. And if they put like a little bit of in there to make them big, I think they do. I think they put lipstick in there, and I think they did a tuna plant or something. Like a mullet. We all just know vanilla milkshakes taste like poop. Like vanilla milkshakes taste like poop. That's what she said. Well, yeah. 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 Y
and more mac and cheese. Hey guys, so I thought I'd just end this clip in here before I end the video. I am about three and a half weeks post-op or something like that. And I still have, you know, the holes in my mouth where they took the bottom teeth out because they take a while to fully close. But my gums are pretty much healed. I'm going to tell you guys some tips and some things that I've used while I was recovering. Some things you might want to know if you're getting your wisdom teeth removed. So what I have here is something that I would recommend getting. I used this ice pack. It was really good. And this ice pack you can actually, you can use it hot or cold. So I would recommend this because when you're having your surgery, you can use heat on it after so many days. So this is that brand. And if I were you, you could get two of these for each side if you wanted to but I had a little minions ice pack that I used on this side or one of the sides I don't I can't remember but I used this on one side used a minion ice pack on the other side and I had this I don't even know what it was you'll see it in the clips but I used this bandage thing around my head to keep the ice in heat on my face so this is something that I would recommend you getting before your surgery get an ice pack and it would be helpful to get one that does heat too so that was awesome also before your wisdom teeth removal have some food that you can eat that is accessible a lot of the things that I like to eat as you saw in this video was like mashed potatoes from Kentucky Fried Chicken or Instant Mashed Potatoes, Mac and Cheese from Chick-fil-A, Mac and Cheese from pretty much anywhere. And I made my own Mac and Cheese. And I loved banana ice cream. We have a Yo Nana, so that was very helpful. Smoothies from Smoothie Kings, just don't use a straw, of course. Cold stuff is so good. Just make sure before your surgery that you have some stuff on hand, yogurts puddings, applesauce, stuff like that. Make sure your fridge is stocked because you won't be able to chew hard things for a while. I think it took me about on day six I felt better to introduce foods that weren't super soft. So also keep up with your care. Um, I still have to use this once a day because my holes are still in my mouth. You normally fill this syringe up with salt water, but after my gums were pretty much fully healed, I stopped using salt water. And now, before I brush my teeth at night, I just, you know, clean them out, make sure all the food that I ate throughout the day is gone. But do this when your recommended time says, I think it's like five days or something after your surgery. Also make sure you have salt on hand because you will be doing salt water rinses and you will be using it in the syringe. So I just wanted to add that in there as well. If you don't keep it clean, you could get it infected and we don't want that. And sorry there's so much noise going on right now. I recommend continue to use this until you don't have a hole in your mouth anymore. I'm so glad that my experience was pretty good. I took my pain medicine as I should, but I didn't really take much of the medicine that they gave me, the stronger medicine. And I can't remember what day I finally didn't take anything for pain, but just make sure you stay on top of it too. I always try to stay away from the strong stuff if you can, but I used the strong stuff I think the first day and a half and then I was on normal medicine, the other lower dose of medicine that they gave me. So I would encourage you just make sure you're taking care of everything in your mouth. Also buy some extra galls if you want to because they don't give you very many. Have some good shows to watch while you're recovering because you won't feel that great but I'm so happy that my surgery went well and my face didn't swell super huge a couple days after I didn't have any bruising or anything which was awesome and if you're having your wisdom teeth removal I hope yours goes well also and that these little 
tips helped you i know it's pretty common knowledge just stay on top of your medicines make sure you have a heat slash ice pack on hand make sure you get your food ready and keep your mouth clean after your surgery oh and also you need a soft bristle toothbrush because you'll want to brush your teeth the day after but you want to be very careful when you do i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it gave you a laugh and if you're having surgery soon i hope it goes well for you and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so so much Bye, guys.